Shane Jones' billion-dollar provincial growth fund is under fire yet again. The government's pouring $2.4 million into a cultural centre in Kawakawa in the Bay of Islands in a bid to create jobs and boost the local economy. But News Hub can reveal the centre is only expected to create three jobs. And officials warn that instead of stimulating the economy, it could jeopardise other local businesses. Political reporter Anna Brace will worrell with this exclusive report. It's not much to look at now, but this pile of dirt in Kawakawa is set to be a fancy new art and tourism hub, leveraging off the town's famous loos, designed by artist Friedenreich Hundewasser, which draw tourists to the small northern town and region. Well, I think they're going to bring plenty more people to the area and it will just force me to make sure I'm doing what I do really, really well. In June, with serious fanfare and the PM in tow, the government announced $2.4 million for the hub from its provincial growth fund. Minister Shane Jones celebrated the funding, announcing it would create jobs and boost the economy in the region. Too many shops have closed down there and uh, on any day or night there's too many listless uh, nefs wandering around there. But this won't really help those listless nefs. News Hub can reveal just three jobs will be created. $2.4 million for three jobs is $800,000 a job. Uh, it would be easier just to pay three people uh, and stop wasting government money. The officials recommended Jones decline the funding. He ignored them. You've got to take a few risks when you're dealing with infrastructure. MB officials raised concerns about the financial future of the project, saying as well as just a few jobs being created, the cafe could cannibalise other local businesses and raised intellectual property concerns about using the Hundavasa name. The group planning the centre had wanted to call it the Hundavasa Centre. They couldn't get it across the line. That's been scrapped. So to the cafe. It's gone. Time to start calling the Provincial Growth Fund what it is. It is the Shane Jones re-election fund. Uh, to call it pork barrel politics would be offensive to pigs. The Hundavasa Foundation in Austria, which is the guardian of Hundavasa's work, told News Hub it would never have given permission to use the artist's name on the centre, but leveraging off the toilets and Hundavasa's memorial park is OK. The Provincial Growth Fund was a major coalition win for New Zealand First. One billion dollars to spend in the regions every single year. Having too much money to splash around isn't usually a problem, but Shane Jones has only managed to spend a fraction of it, perhaps by his overruling official advice. Anna Bracewell-Worrell, News Hub.